All right, welcome back to World of Warcraft, where another opportunity for me to showcase an order hall and some more of the Legion artifact weapon quests has been able to come up a little sooner than I hoped it would, courtesy of the changes in Shadowlands' pre-patch. So, one of the order halls that I remember thinking, man, this is cool, was the Warlock Order Hall. And, uh, you know, the overall campaign, kind of like the Mage one, is not really that great, but the way it starts off is awesome, and the weapons uh, are pretty awesome. Uh, the Affliction one, you know, be be with it being a, almost an exact duplicate of two other artifact weapons, was kind of a disappointment. But the other two, Demo and Destro, are pretty cool as well. So I wanted to go ahead and be able to show you guys. Uh, this is my Void Elf, and uh, she is a Warlock. At first, I was going to make her a Shadow Priest only. Just strictly a Shadow Priest, because of course that made sense. But then I started getting, uh, you know, finding the idea of a Void Elf having the power of the Void, who is also a Warlock having the power of the Fell. And I just kind of thought the idea of that was amazing. I have the void and the fell in my, the palm of my hands. I am amazing. <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> so, yeah, the idea that appealed to me. Also, this is a set from Burning Crusade for Warlocks. It's called Void Heart. And I thought this was a very appropriate set to have for a void elf. By the way, in case you're curious what she looks like without that helmet. Ta-da! I think she looks pretty cute. I love the the effect on her hair there. Look, it's like very, you know, just like that little swirly aspect of the void in her hair. Very cool looking. Anyways, that's how she looks. Ugh, void helmet. Anyways. So yeah, we're going to be starting up the, uh, I want to show you guys the intro to the Warlock Order Hall because it's pretty great. And uh, then I will get to show you the first of at least two, if not three. I may even show you Affliction. I don't know. Uh, but I decided I'm going to show you the Demo one first, Demonology. I'm going to show you that one first. Um, partly because I <laughs> right now I think uh, she's at level 25. She's about to hit 26. Um, right now, in terms of abilities, I have enough that it's kind of like the basic kind of stuff for Demo here. You know, whereas Destro, I don't even have Reign of Fire yet. Uh, I don't have the uh, Demonic Tyrant ability yet. Uh, there are some things about Demonology from Legion I miss. I miss that we could have had a, instead of a, you know, a Wrath Guard here, I could have had an Infernal. Just a permanent Infernal just walking around with me. Or a Doom Guard. And that was awesome. Now, how the, the spec actually played, that was another issue. But just the, the idea of just having a permanent Fell Guard, you know, or, I'm sorry, a Doom Guard or Infernal was just awesome. And they took it away in BFA, and I've and I still haven't forgiven Blizzard for that. Give me back my permanent Doomguard or Infernal, please. It was awesome. I loved it. But yeah, if you're wondering why he looks like this, this is a glyph. And I just think it looks better than the default one. I think it, you know, it's a little bit more anime, and I think it just looks better when you see him running around. The other one, I think, just looks a little stiff or whatever. But anyways. Oh my gosh, there's that world boss mount. Anyways, let's go ahead and... Uh, this, get my Hearthstone, hit 26. Do, 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 do. Oh my, Dalaran. Hmm. I do find myself wondering how many other players can be able to see uh, anything related to when we get our intro here for our class order hall. Hmm. Well, there he goes. Now wonder what I could do to pass the time. What could I find? What is there to do here for a warlock in the city of Dalaran? Da uh, oh. What the? A closet? A moment of your time, warlock. The Council of the Black Harvest requests your assistance. Ritson Flamescowl. Ah, oh, it might be bugged. 
He's supposed to say something like, I have no time for trivialities. Anyways. Greetings, Warlock. I speak on behalf of the Council of the Black Harvest. With the Legion invasion upon us, it is painfully clear that our only hope is to grow stronger. The Council plans to tap into the Twisting Nether and call forth more powerful demon allies. The ritual is ready, but we are short one number. No doubt you have heard the f of the fate that befell Canrith had Ebonlock. You will be his replacement. Do you accept? Quick reminder for those of you who uh, are unfamiliar... Uh, I even did a separate video on this. Back in Mists of Pandaria, there was an entire separate quest chain that was only available to warlocks. It was awesome. Uh, you found a book that was written by a member of the council here, Jubeka, who was going around with someone else named Camerthad Ebonlock, who's also part of the council, and they were doing some more extensive studies when it came, came to the Demons of the Burning Legion, and we were, we, the character, the player, were going around, uh, like, the areas in the, um in Outland, like Hellfire Peninsula and such, finding uh, left-behind clues and such, where they were doing more research and finding out more uh, lore and such about the de demons and learning more about demonology in general. The culmination of the quest line ended up where you got back into the Black Temple, uh, you got to run into a comma, and then you kind of abandoned him when he had to respond, and you wanted to go help, but your little imp friend was like, no, 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 we gotta go this way! And uh, you went to the top, and you found Ebonlock, and he had fallen completely under overwhelming demonic power and had changed, and it had, and it was, like, affecting him and his mindset. And so you had to fight him, and it was a pretty tough fight uh, at level uh, if you weren't all that geared. Uh, if you won the fight, um, you got a cool title, which you can't get in the game anymore. It's called Of the Black Harvest. I never got that. And... Um, Jubeka, who is a warlock who specializes specifically in banish uh, spells, banished him uh, where, you know, he's just been frozen in that state of banishment ever since. And that is why the council is shorthanded, since he was part of the council, and thus they now come to me to ask me for help. Join us at the Circle of Wills in Dalaran's Underbelly, Warlock. My portal will take you there directly. We will be waiting. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, it's usually just called a closet. I like how the, por the portal here is a little animated. So here's the underbelly in Dalaran. So let me introduce you to the Council of the Black Harvest. You, of course, have just met uh, Ritson. This is Zelifrax Wobblepox. He's a leper gnome. And he's going to be leading us in the ritual. A gnome is leading the warlocks in the ritual. Just <laughs> take a moment to think about that. This is Shinfeld Blightsworn. She's relatively new. You'll get to know what she's like as we go through this. This is Jebecca. This is the one who I was talking about that uh, banished Ebonlock. And over here is Zinnin Smythe. He's got a... Uh, a... Uh, kind of a a jaw clamp kind of thing on his jaw. The, he doesn't talk a lot. I'm not really sure why. That's just, you know. Uh, he obviously also has the shoulders of the set that you can get in um, Olduar. In fact, that's one of the sets I've been wanting to get. I have a lot of the sets from uh, for the Warlock. What can I say? I think these sets look amazing. This is the set that I'm referring to. I've been trying to get this set. I've only gotten a couple pieces so far. I really want this set. Because it's the set that, that the guy wore in the cutscene. So, anyways. Uh, before I do uh, this, let me uh, just kind of briefly briefly give you an idea of some of the, uh, the politics that kind of goes on amongst the warlocks. Um, they're kind of like the Sith. For those of you who perhaps have played Star Wars The Old Republic and have seen what the political uh, atmosphere is like on places like Korriban and Droman Kass, uh, from that era of Star Wars, the Sith had a very kind of, you know, backstabbing type of political atmosphere amongst uh, themselves. And uh, at times it was like they were just kind of outright stupid in terms of some of the things they would do. Um, 
the warlocks in Warcraft are not really that stupid. It's kind of a form of, merit of a meritocracy where, you know, the strongest warlocks are the ones on top. They're the ones here. They're on the council. And then there are ones who are beneath them. Um, but they are not restricted to that. They could be able to have opportunities to work themselves up. But there's not really a lot of, like I said, backstabbing amongst them. They're basically like the Sith, but less stupid. <laughs> So, just to give you an idea of how some of the warlocks really work and why these are the ones here. And they're basically giving me uh, a warlock who they have heard accolades about. Like, um, you know, the idea is that your warlock has gone through the previous expansions and you have done all the very various things. And they've heard about your exploits and they're like, you know what, this warlock seems pretty strong. Let's give her an opportunity to join our rank. See if maybe she can have the... Uh, you know, capabilities to join the council and take uh, Ebonlock's place, since we've kind of been needing another member. What? You have made the right decision. Let us hope that you live up to your reputation. I like Ritson's little look there, where he's, you know, his skull is just kind of um, covered in flame. Like, there's just flame just kind of circling his head. I don't know why it's that way, but it just looks cool. It is time to begin the ritual, Warlock. Be prepared, for the summoning that we perform today will be more challenging than any that you have known or seen before. Are you ready? If you mess with Fellfire, you get burned. Zelifrax will lead us in the ritual. You have studied the rites, Gnome. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about me, Hothead. I know what needs to be done. Acris Nomenoff. I need everyone to channel on the portal. This ritual requires our unwavering concentration. That is a large portal. It is not our concentration that should concern you. Let us hope our newest addition can keep up. What are you waiting for, new blood? Begin. Sure thing, Shinfell. Your power is impressive, Warlock. The ritual begins! Be prepared. We're reaching deeper into the nether than ever before. Who knows what we may find? Oh yeah, there's no way this can go wrong. Keep focused. I sense a being of great power on the other side. Um, tell us. Um, uh oh. Uh, or was it tell off? I'm always mixing those up. That's not good. The portal! Summon me. That's a pit lord. It is I, Zelifrax Wobblepox. You will serve me, demon. Trifling gnome. Your arrogance will be. Oh. Um. Foolish mortals. You think yourselves worthy to enslave the mighty Juggernaut? It is you who will be made to serve! Well... That could have gone better. <clears throat> so, the new blood awakens. You were spared the brunt of the Pit Lord's assault. Pity the rest of us weren't so lucky. We would seem to be Jagannath's prisoners on some forsaken Legion world. Imagine the horrors he has planned for us. Personally, I would prefer to avoid such torment. <clears throat> Pain. Uh, hard to focus. Quickly, before our jailer turns his attention to us. You may be able to control him long enough. Hmm. Serve me. I obey.
I'm out. What trickery is this? No one escapes my cells. I require oh, a target. Jagannath will end you. That was Chewbacca. The others might yet live. I am too wounded to go with you, Warlock. Find the others. Together, you might survive this. Leave me, Rittison Flame Skull. It's no one's burden. Okay, Ridson. If you say so. <gasps> wait, wait, please, please don't hurt Calidus. Calidus is serving to the cruel, cruel Jagannath. He abuses and mocks poor Calidus. Oh, but you, you could be his undoing. Calidus will distract centuries. You find your friends. Here we will meet again soon. So, I like Calidus. <laughs> For one thing, I like that his voice is very sounds very much like Gollum. But oh, please don't hurt Calidus. Don't hurt Precious. And he is a, you know, well, you'll see. He becomes you know, kind of one of our, you know, great allies. And he never betrays us. He basically, you know, stays very loyal to us. And he, you know, <laughs> like, you can't help but sometimes wonder if he was going to betray us or not. And he never does. Jebecca. Man, I have wanted them to go so much more with demonology for a long time. Just really expand on this idea. Look at this. Give me more. I want an army. I was nearly food for the hounds. Thank you. There's Zinnin. I need to target something first. Your silence cannot last forever, Warden! Uh, he has a muzzle. He has a muzzle on his face! So I'm pretty sure his silence can last as long as it wants to. Hey Zinnan, you okay? Alright, he's he's fine. There's Shinfell. Is that the best you've got, demon? I thought your kind knew how to torture. Pathetic. Savor your words while your mind can still form them, worm. Okay, I, I guess we kind of know what Shinfell is into. I appreciate the assistance, Warlock. These demons are dreadfully boring. <laughs> Where is Ritson? The orc was gravely injured and cannot follow. No matter. We four should suffice to control that pit lord. That is still our goal. Yeah. Um, Shinfell? Fine, stubborn worgen. Escape shall be our first priority. 
But if the opportunity to enslave the demon presents itself, I say we take it. Then yeah, what, what Zinin said. Let's keep moving. I like that it just shows the dots when he talks, and all we heard from him was just kind of like him growling like... Mruh. I just like that she completely understood what he meant from that. I need to target something first. Okay. Huh, this way! Over here! Hey, Calidus. What is this miserable creature? Shut up, Shinfell. This is a friend! You will see. Jagannath hunts powerful weapons. Friend could use these weapons to rule this place. <laughs> rule? I like the sound of that. <laughs> oh, Shinfell. How do we know we can trust this thing? You must trust Calidus. Come to the archives. It's not far. I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. I require a target. It is weird seeing corruption available for an, a demo warlock. That is so weird just for me to see. Look at all these books. This also, look at some of those giant infernals. Of in all we could learn from these tomes. Not to mention the power they could give us. <laughs> this is the tome you seek, friend. Take it! Then we can leave this place before Jagannath finds us! So I like that, how here it tries to help uh, showcase a couple of the characters and what they're really interested in. Jubeka's interested in knowledge, and Shinfell's interested in power. And Zin, well, be Zinin. So, hmm. What is in here? Insolent wretches! It would appear uh -oh. they discovered. Did you think you could escape my grasp so easily? <sighs> Shinfell? Wretch! Haughty warlocks! You presume to issue commands to my kind? Face the consequences for your insolence! Shinfell, no! I will smash you like the insignificant uh -oh. gnat you are! Burn! Burn in the fell fire! Flee, friend! We must escape through the gateway! Right behind you, Calidus. Zinin, look out! Zinin! Your skull will make a fine trophy. Zinin. We'll come back from Jebecca. Oh no! Jebecca. Uh, press on, warlock. Close the portal. I'll come back for you. I will burn you to cinders. Uh huh. Go. The path is clear. Hurry! This is not over, Warlock. I will see the end of you. 
before I see you to your end first. I'll be back. <clears throat> ah, you did it, friend! The portal is closed. He cannot pursue us here. <laughs> yes, friend? We must find the weapon so the Jagannath can be defeated. The book is the key. Kalidus will wait here. Yeah, the book we got is basically the book that's going to tell us uh, about the three weapons that we can Kalidus get. Kalidus is eager to help. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I've already gotten this over here, so. But yeah. Come back soon! Oh, Kalidus, sorry that we not save your friends. But maybe they survive if we hurry. Jagannath torture them, yes, but he likes to keep victims alive. Mostly. The book you carry is the key to your friend's salvation and your absolute power. It holds within information about many relics too dangerous to the Legion to leave unchecked. Read, friend, and decide which of these artifacts you will use to strike Jagannath down. So, here we get our choice between the three. Um, as I said, the Affliction one, sadly, is a repeat of Balanced Druid and Unholy Death Knight, where you go to, you know, Karazhan, and you get it from the Dark Riders. The other two ones, though, are kind of cool. Uh, the Demo one is pretty cool. And the Destruction one is also cool, partly because, well, we get to do some uh, subterfuge and uh, kind of uh, ruin a plot on, you know, by Gul'dan. Uh, I'll do that one in a separate video, just to showcase, you know, that quest. But first we're going to go after uh, Thalkiel here. Now, I've actually done a whole separate video, like I did with Alaneth, on Thalkiel. It's called the Skull of, Man of the Minari, but it, he's, he's called Thalkiel. The sorcerer Thalkiel was once the, was one of the first Eridar who learned the techniques of summoning and controlling demons. After his defeat, his skull was put on display as an example of the dangers of the, of the Dark Arts. The lesson went unheeded. After the Eridar's fall, the skull was taken by the generals of the Burning Legion to enhance their control over of their armies. So, yeah, he, uh... I did a whole video reading on the lore of this and explaining it. But uh, one of the big reasons why he ended up going down after he demonstrated to the the Draenei and the Eridar about uh, what he thought was going to be a new potential power source for the, their people, uh, put basically uh, the demons in the Twisting Nether as a source of power and such, they were like, no, this this is not, uh, you, we can tell, this is not a good thing. Don't do this. And he basically isolated himself after that and went a little nuts. And... Um, one of the people that was working under him kind of helped uh, undermine him and turned him over. Uh, that underling was Archimond. And, well, yeah, you can probably understand what happened after that. So that's why uh, he is basically now just re 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 <laughs> reduced to just simply uh, a skull that is basically kind of a, a power source battery that they're just kind of using and siphoning and such. And we're going to try and see if we can get him to join us and help us out. Plus, he talks throughout like Alaneth does and also Zalateth. But uh, I'll do the video on Zalateth some of the, you know, later. So let's go after Thalkiel. What does friend need? Oh, yes, friend chose very wisely. The skull of the Minari. Oh, good choice. It's very powerful, and it's held by an even more powerful dreadlord. There is a weakness. The skull has a will of its own. If we can commune with the skull, we might be able to convince it to serve you instead. We will need regents from the... Floating city up before we can perform the ritual to commune with it. Dust from a fresh grave, dark oil, and a powerful alco alcohol catalyst. Oh, and blood. I sense a beast whose blood should be perfect. Calidus! While you are busy, Calidus will search for a suitable location for the ritual. Alright. So, what's cool about this quest? 
this is kind of a harken back to um, some of the stuff in terms of the uh, quest that you did back in the days of Vanilla. That is Valzoon. I will get to him later when we uh, get to uh, my rogue. I'll explain more about him when we get to my rogue. Anyways, this quest is kind of a cool little throwback to some of the uh, class-specific quests that the Warlock had back in the days of Vanilla, where in order to, say, you know, learn a ritual to summon and, uh, you know, bind the will of a certain demon to your will, like, say, for example, you know, the uh, the Fell Hunter, you had to go and collect these things, like dig up long-lost incantations in order to learn the ritual, in order to bring it to Azeroth, and it was just kind of this cool, you know, kind of thing. So, you know, the idea was that you know, doing this quest, it was like, oh, okay, so we need to do a summoning ritual that's going to involve grave dust, blood, and some alcohol. Okay, this is like a Tuesday for a warlock. Okay, sure. So it's just a really cool little throwback kind of thing here. Hmm. What? What are you looking at me for? What, just because I'm a warlock and not a hunter, I'm not allowed to be in here? Is, is there, we, do we have a problem? Hmm? Don't, don't mind me, I'm just looking around. Hmm. A stag. Oh, I'm sure... I don't think any hunters would actually have this here. Who would get some kind of stag here as a pet, as a hunter, right? <laughs> right? Alright, so let's see. Hmm. Alright, you know what? Give me your blood! <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I'll leave. I'll leave. Whoopsie. Hmm. Well, here's the bar. I'm sure there's some alcohol I could grab here. Hmm. This looks promising. Hey! That's my drink! <laughs> Sleepy time. <laughs> By the way, this is the um, Void Elf Mount. It's kind of cool looking. Let's see. Ah, fresh graves. Perfect. Hmm. Thank you. Now let's see. A can of overheated oil. This is the class hall mount, by the way, for the warlock. I really like it. I like all three variations of it. Getting it was a little bit of a pain, but for me it was worth it. down below. Oh, is it in the area where you can get flagged? Ah, fine, whatever. Guards prevent players. Okay, good. Am I just in the wrong spot, in the wrong area? Apparently so. Okay, so it's actually like in here. 
Say, uh, you don't mind if I, uh, borrow some of this oil, do you? Calidus found a perfect spot for the ritual. Come, friend, meet Calidus in the room behind the curtains at the place called the Violet Gate. <laughs> Pay no attention to the demon behind the curtain. Don't, don't mind us, Solyndra. Ah. You've, uh, you've done an excellent job, Calidus. <laughs> Calidus is ready to serve. The oil is so dark; it's like it look. It's like looking into a l liquid void. Warm to the touch, aged for four years, an excellent vintage, infused with the sorrows of the departed. Ah, oh, very good. Now we are ready to begin. Friend now is ready to perform the ritual. Remember, friend, the skull must be convinced that it is in its best interest to be in your possession. If we must force the skull into your servitude, it would be far weaker. This goes back to an aspect of how the setting works in terms of more willing equals more powerful. The less willing you are, the less powerful you're actually going to be. This is why, for example... To use the Scourge as an example, someone who is completely unwilling to join the Scourge ends up becoming, like, a mindless ghoul. Whereas someone who is completely willing to join, like Kel'Thuzad, for example, becomes one of the most powerful liches the setting has ever seen. So, the same basically kind of applies here. It's mainly a setting thing. Come back soon! All right. Let us perform the ritual. Now what? Uh, one day I will free myself of your control and... Wait, you're not my master. Hello, Thalkiel. <sighs> yes. One of my favorite things he says is, Do you need a hand? Because I don't have one. You have great courage to contact me, Void Elf. How do you even know what that is? Or stupidity. I have need of your powers. Da! Do you think you're the first creature from a doomed world to beg for my aid? No, you will burn before the Legion's power, and I will continue to suffer in servitude to these mongrels for the rest of eternity. Save yourself the wasted effort, and go jump into a fire. Oh, so the famed Thalkiel chose to just submit to the demons in the end, eh? How dare you! If my powers were not constantly being drained, I could easily bring them under my control. Well, then allow me to free you. And together, the Burning Legion will bow to us. We will be the masters. Fine, fine. Come to Fell Soul Hold if you truly believe you can free me. But if you're not up for the challenge, you'll be joining me in eternal torment. Calidus knows where that is. The Calidus can help. You are wonderful, Calidus. <laughs> yes, friend. Yes, Fell Soul Hold. Calidus knows where that is. Calidus can make a path that connects to one of the portals there. Fell Soul Hold is not far away, but it is well defended. Very tough to get in the normal way, but Calidus can help you sneak in. There is a portal that my kind use to haul in treasures. With it, you can get in and find the skull. Farewell, friend. Thanks, Calidus. So, if I don't make it back, you should probably leave this city. Because if they find you, well, you may end up getting killed. Wish me luck.
Ah, uh, fell so hold. I've spent so much time in this area here. There you are, mortal. I sense you are near. Move quickly and head down the path. The master on my way. Gone, and his minions gorge upon my power. Come, repay and this degradation. Introduce them to unfathomable the levels of pain. Get him! Get him! By the way, the Worm Tongues are basically Warcraft's version of the Treasure Goblins from Diablo. That's basically why Kaladus was talking about how they have a portal system that they use to bring treasures here. Because that's basically what they are. And if, in case you're wondering, no, I do not have a problem with Blizzard cross you know, crossing their different games together. I have no issues with any of their games being in their other games. I know some people have an issue with that. I'm not one of them. I do not have a target. Gosh, corruption has a cast time. No! It's like how it is in Vanilla or WoW Classic. No! Not a cast time. It's okay, it's probably a little different on Affliction. I'm guessing the cast time is not there if you play Affliction. I mean, that would make sense. Now, before the Master returns, slay my captors and free me! Warlock, did you really think I would remain unaware of your infantile plot to steal my treasure? You underestimate the Nathrazim. As for you, treacherous skull, I'll deal with you later. Come to me, servant of Hellfire. Rid me of this uninvited guest. Okay, my Wrath Guard has got this. And he's not alone. Fire the guns! Cover the path in Hellfire! Don't let that warlock through! What's the matter, Mephistroth? Afraid of a little warlock? So, Mephistroth actually does go back to, uh, I actually s noticed this. He's actually a Dreadlord that I'm pretty sure, if I remember, my memory recalls correctly, we actually do encounter him back in the days of Warcraft 3. I know some people, though, had an issue with him getting the big spotlight in this expansion compared to some of the other Dreadlords that we have encountered, like, say, Malganus, for example. Like, we saw him once at the Broken Shore launch event, if you play Alliance, and you saw him amongst the others down there, and then we never see him again. Also, well, they brought Tychondrius back, and he's just kind of a throwaway boss in the Nighthold. Has no significant presence, even though he was a major character in Warcraft 3. And it just seemed kind of odd that they decided, let's have Mephistroth, one of the lesser-known Dreadlords, get this big spotlight, instead of one that we usually know. So here's a cool little, oh my gosh. Hold on. Wait, do I not have that ability? I don't. So this is something they actually did. Okay, hold on, I have to disable this, wow. 
this is ridiculous when I have to activate this and it's like, oh, guess what? One of your add-ons for some reason is causing this to not work. How? <laughs> it doesn't explain how. But I apparently don't have the gateway spell ability yet. So it just gives it to me to use it for this quest. That's great. Minions attack! I could say the same thing. Minions attack! It's like, look, I've got my own minions too, Mephistroth. This is a demo warlock you're talking to. Of course I have my own minions. I need to target something first. Do you hear me, mortal? Mephistroth imprisoned me at the far side of the valley. Hurry, I sense he is preparing for something significant. I require a target. Playtime's over, mortal! Actually, sister, playtime has only begun. Don't question me in front of the mortal, sister. Well, maybe I wouldn't question you if you were actually intimidating. Oh, you always do that. I, I would just love if they just kept going. They, they went back and forth like bickering sisters. I think that would have been really funny. Okay, okay, I'm out. I'm out. Think I would stand idle as you clawed your way through my minions? Listen, mortal, as the treasure you fight so hard to obtain is broken to my will. Curse you! I will not give in! I do not have a target. Just hang on, thou kill, I'm on my way. Once we get thou kill, we'll head back to the Dread Scar Rift and free our council members. Grow tired of your interference! Die! I hesitated there for a second because I was about to call them friends, but then I thought, wait a minute, we're warlocks, we're not exactly friends. That's like calling the Sith friends. It's like, pfft, yeah, right. All right, Mephistroth. Let's go. I grow tired of your interference. Die. Enjoy your victory while you can, Warlock. <laughs> this isn't over between us. It has only begun. So, Thalkiel. Want to help me take down a Pit Lord? Freedom! The feeling is sweet, but Mephistroth's magic has diminished my power. Let's depart this place before the Dreadlord is able to return. You got it. So yeah, he's the offhand. And he just floats around. Provides commentary. You have been removed from the group. But yeah, the main hand weapon is the dagger. And he is the offhand. So he just floats around there. So 
I'm gonna hold off on that. So now, let's head back down to where we were before. See if we can find Calidus and get back to the rift. And use Thalkiel's power to now give us an advantage against the Pit Lord. See if we can take down Jagannath. Hey, Calidus. What does friend need? Friend was able to get the skull? Yes, Calidus senses it. Keep its case turned away from Calidus, friend. I, I gladly work for you without compulsion. Friend has the artifact. Now, Jagannath does not stand a chance. Quickly, you must go back to Dreadscar Rift. You may still be able to save your friends from Jagannath's vengeance. If you take the heart of the Overlord, his army will be yours to command. Calidus will wait here. Okay, then. Wish me luck. So, the little warlock returns. You're too late to save your friends. They have the honor of amusing my lord, Mephistroth. It's interesting that apparently he works for Mephistroth. To receive yet another gift, and I will happily deliver you to him. Come, warlock. You will be broken! Like, at times, it has seemed as if the Dreadlords were actually working for the Pit Lords. And yet here, Jagannath, a Pit Lord, is working for a Nathrazim, Mephistroth. It seems like it should be the other way around. Alright. So now... Boy, doing this without all my abilities seems a little weird. Curse on him. This power you wield, it's not possible! Yep, it is, because I've got my buddy Thal Keel here with me. This cannot be! Mephistroth will take oh, you. Jagannath has slain. Now take his heart. You will be the lord of the Dreadscar. Yes. Your heart is mine. Oh, bring the heart to the altar. Look at this. Look at this place. Ah, oh, this place looks awesome. And this now is mine. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Calidus. You're awesome. We should put it on display for all to see. Hello. You have slain one of my generals. Savor your victory while you can, Warlock. This war is far from over. We will meet yeah, again. Yeah, and you're next. <laughs> The Dreadscar have come to serve at your command. Bow before your new master. No, seriously. That's what we do. This place is now ours. And all the demons who worked for Jagannath here now serve us. This is so 
Warlock, and I love it. When I found out that this was their order hall, I was just like, that is amazing, and it makes so much sense. Of course Warlocks would just take a realm that belongs to the Legion and just make it their order hall. That is amazing. Calidus is eager to help. Ah, the cruel Jackanoth is defeated. Friend is now the new overlord of the Dreadscar. This place will be Friend's new home. With the Dreadscar under your control, you can come and go as you please. It seems that Friend has caught the attention of Mephistroth. Oh, this is very bad news, as the Dreadlord will surely wish to seek revenge for losing his general. Friend will need more than the Dreadscar to stand against him. You will need powerful warlocks such as those who were captured. Calidus thinks the orc still lies in the pit where you were chained. Friend must revive him and rebuild the council. Come back soon! Ritson! Let me go revive him. Notice the demons actually will salute us as we go by. They are entirely behind the idea of now serving us. Look at this. We got this one guy over here. He's the blacksmith over here. This place looks awesome. I just love the design of this place. This is where the council is going to meet after we save them. This is where we have some of the upgrades. There's an optional summoning portal over here for some other optional secondary stuff. Really cool stuff all over this place. I love it. One of my absolute favorite order halls in the entire expansion. Ritson? Hey. Get on up. Come on. It seems not even a pit lord can keep you down, warlock. I'll take that as a compliment. The rest of the council. Well, I've no time for trivialities. I can hardly believe my eyes. For one warlock to control an entire army of demons is beyond what I thought the council was capable of. I only hope that such power is enough to turn the tide of this war. It would seem that where the council has failed, you have found untold success. These Dreadscar, these Dreadscar should prove powerful allies, but they may not be enough. For now, we must look to rebuild. I will send agents out to locate the whereabouts of the captured council members as well as any other warlocks who may be able to aid the cause. Meet me at the scrying pool, and we will plan our action from there. Come, let us plan the future of our order. Yeah, also, there are some who rebelled, like this guy here, Rebellious Fellord, so he's a training dummy. I just love that. That's so great. It's like, some demons fell in line, some didn't, so we turned them into training dummies. It's like, okay, you're not going to serve me? Fine, I'll just practice my incredibly painful abilities on you. I just love that. That's so great. It's so warlock. Like, this is... Okay, I'm going to rant about, about this when we do the warrior. Because I'm going to show... Uh, a couple of the ones for the warrior. I'm going to rant about how the warrior is just so un-warrior compared to some of the other order halls like this one, which this just feels like it's really playing up the class fantasy. And then the warrior just feels like it does the opposite. <laughs> but that's for... I'll rant about that in the, in the video where I uh, showcase the warrior order hall as well as one of the uh, weapon quests. So, I usually always just pick Azuna, because that's my favorite of the four, of the zones there, so. So now he's here. Uh-oh. 
Make it quick. What is it? The plan is set and the wheels are in motion. One more thing, Warlock. With our members scattered and a Dreadlord on our heels, we need you to take leadership of the Council. Through your power, we can rebuild. I name you the first of the Council of the Black Harvest. May you lead us to glory against the Legion. Thank you, Ritson. Now, let me take a moment to head up here. So they all salute. Champion of the Dread Scar. Unleash my fury! The Dread Scar, yours to command, Overlord. May the worlds of your enemies fall at your feet. I shall await your summons. So, here we put his heart and his corpse on display, Jagannath, because of course we do. We have a sense of humor. And here's the altar that we use to improve our artifact weapon and change the appearance. Now, of course, with this, it's mainly... Valkyrie, why are you... Okay, so he's kind of... He's not supposed to be facing that way. Alright, so he's... You know, you get the different colored versions. The upgrade one is, you know, a little bit more armored. This is the balance of power one. is just mainly, like, one with tusks. This is the PvP one. It, I think it looks really cool. I do have the other secret appearance, which is him with his Eridar skin. It is disgusting. <laughs> I never use it. It randomly dropped for me, and I hardly ever use it because I can't stand how it looks. But yeah. It changes also the appearance of the dagger, and the dagger looks awesome. And I think that'll kill. Look at that. That looks so cool. So. But in case you're curious, I'll go ahead and... uh. Pull it up for you, for you guys. Let me see here. Where? I'll just look at the Legion artifacts. So here are the ones I have unlocked. Here's the one I just showed you. That's the, one of the other completed ones there. This is the secret appearance. Look at that. Ugh. I'm sorry, but that is gross. Blech. Yeah, I don't use that one. Alright. Good morning to all friends of the Grummels. Hey! Calibus is ready to serve! So I can recruit him. Now I can be able to choose a second artifact. We will be doing that in a separate video where we will go after Farewell, friend. the Scepter of Sargeras, which is pretty powerful. Friend won't need to face the Legion alone. Thank you, Calidus. You're wonderful. And now we'll go get uh, Ritson. Make it quick. Rebuilding the council is our key to defeating the Legion, but it is a task that cannot be completed alone. You could use someone at your side, someone who is familiar with the burden of leadership. I would be honored to serve a second. Through your power and guidance, we can rebuild. I will not rest until the council has been rebuilt. What can I do for you? It says a lot that Ritson would give up his position and look to you for leadership. He must believe that you are the key to rebuilding the council. Alright, so this is where it's like, hey, now you can be able to start doing the mission boards and such. Yeah. So that is the intro to the Warlock Order Hall stuff and the quest to get the Demonology Artifact Weapon, Thalkiel. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, cool little, you know, throwback type of quest for, you know, old school vanilla warlocks. You know, the collecting the ingredients for the ritual and such. Very nice. 
So, when we return to this warlock, I will be showing you the quest to get the destruction artifact weapon, the Scepter of Sargeras. It's just going to feel a little awkward not having certain abilities I really love using on Destro, like Reign of Fire, for example. But anyways, hope you guys stick around for that. I will see you then.